You know our first guest as Kate Pearson from the hit show, This Is Us. Her new children's book is called When I Talk to God, I Talk About You. Please welcome New York Times bestselling author Chrissy Metz. How are you? I am wonderful. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, my goodness. Because I've been, like, obsessed with you. I know we all have, but I'm admitting it. And... <laughs> In, every, in front of everybody. I love you, too. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, we got to get down to it. I know. So, you, were, you auditioned for American Idol? Yeah, I did. Listen, I got third-degree sunburns. I waited for, like, eight hours. <laughs> I don't think people understand that. Yes. Like, it's not easy. It's a and process. Like, it's a process. You had a different experience mm. than I did, and that's okay. But um, I... <laughs> that's okay. We all have our journeys. Um, but I remember getting into, like, the final sort of, like, five people, uh -huh. five rows of five people. Okay. And they give you, like, 20 seconds to sing. They do. They do. In the middle of everybody. In the middle of everybody, after eight hours, third-degree sunburns. Yes. And, of course, they sang a song from Dreamgirls. I was going to ask, what did, what did you heavy. sing? Heavy. You sang heavy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's ambitious, right? <laughs> um, I know. Um, yes. Um, and I just, I just felt like it was appropriate and also sort of a message that I wanted to send. Yeah. And then, of course, they're like, okay, sorry, it's not going to be you this year. And I was like, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold yes, on. So hold I was sort of line. protesting. I, I know. I shouldn't have probably done that, but I did. It's not like me. It's, uh -huh. I, I'm not a, like... Uh, well, if I think maybe if I feel like empowered to do it, yeah. And at that moment, something struck me. I so don't something know. struck you, and you say you're gonna give me another shot. Yeah, I was like, this isn't right. And the guy was like, excuse me. And there were two judges at the next tent oh. who were like, come here, come over here. And I was like, okay. Mm, so it worked. So it worked. Sometimes you gotta protest for what you want. I guess. And so I walked over, and they were like, audition for us, and they gave me a ticket to the next round. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I couldn't believe it either, but yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, mine was a little different. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> you worked in fast food like I did. Where did you work? McDonald's. Because I worked at Burger King. Uh, well, uh, listen, <laughs> talk about hard work. People do not get enough credit for no. working fast food. No. Right? Oh, no. my goodness. You're right. I mean, I learned invaluable lessons yes. doing that, but, like, I was in the back drive through because I love people. I was in the drive through uh, Really? Yeah, girl. Okay, well, I would, I mean, what did you do to pass the time? I was singing at the at the draft. Lucky, that lucky was my customers. Microphone. Did you sing? No, no, no. I made. I, I just sort of acted like other people sometimes, like English accents <laughs> or just like mixing it up because you get bored back there. <laughs> so they're washing dishes or you know taking orders. So yeah, yeah I would do the accents, not the singing part. Lucky no. Them. As soon as I heard that beep, I was like, this is my chance. They, Let me sing these yeah. people. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh. Okay, so it's uh coming up a year since. This is us ended? Yeah. How does that feel? Sad. I know. Wow. Honestly, like, I'm so grateful for the journey, but uh -huh. like, and I miss my friends. I don't miss always waking up at 3 a.m. Oh, you had early calls, huh? Yeah, very early. I Although not that. as bad as Mandy, because Mandy would honestly be in that chair doing the prosthetics for like three hours. Because that's a process. Yeah, like three and a half oh hours before she even got to set. So I oh know, bless her. Oh so incredible. Oh but um, other than that, I miss I miss everything about the show. I can't believe it's been a year. Wow, well, okay. I know. Well, I know. You know what, but, but now you launched your, your music career, right? Yes, and yes. How has that been? It's been great. Oh, that's good. It's been great, you know, I think. As a singer, you just want to you just want to sing. sing. You just want to write. You want to be creative, and so I'm grateful that I had to do that because, or I had the chance, excuse me, to do that because it's been my first love. Mm -hmm. um, my mom couldn't afford a band instrument when I was growing up, so I joined choir, and that's really sort of how oh. it happened. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, do you play any instruments? The CD player. <laughs> I have never heard <laughs> anybody. I am it. so good at pressing play. No, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to learn the guitar, y'all. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Sing and do other things with your... No, it's hard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I find reading, like, sheet music, I'm like, how do you read that and look at the keys? I know. And, uh -uh. It's too much. I just play it, I'll hear it, and then I'll follow somewhere up I in there. I think you're doing okay. Am, okay. Yeah, I think you're just Thank you. fine. Thank you. So yeah. you gotta find your way through it. Fill yeah. it out. <laughs> okay, and you performed at the Oscars a few years ago. I did. Did you find that to be nerve-wracking? Okay, when my crush, Joaquin Phoenix, mm. is, like, staring at me into my eyes. I mean, he's not really, but I think he is. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's nerve-wracking, but everybody around me, my, my whole team, uh -huh. they were more anxious, I think, for me than I was. And so then that made me nervous. And I'm like, I've just got to sing the song. That's all I have to do. It's just That's, a song. I just, right, it's just a song. Nobody, yeah, you know, I'm not saving anybody's life. Um, but yes, it was very scary. Because <laughs> sometimes you got to give yourself that pep talk because people can make you antsy and nervous. They do. But you know what I do? 
I always have an energy stone in my hand to balance my energy I when I'm in the wings such of the crystal stage. Too. So I'm gonna give you one of my crystals, right? You should hold on to one before you go out because people' energy will make you nervous. Absolutely. And then when it gets really nerve wracking, I'll be like, it's just a song. Yes. Like that's all you're doing. You're not flying no plane. You're right. Not doing surgery. Right. It's just the song. It's just and a it song. helps me get through it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm gonna, I mean, I usually keep a crystal on my body at some point. Uh -huh. So when I saw those, I was like, oh my gosh, Jennifer loves crystals too. <laughs> I do. Yeah, so it, it, I understand that. It censors us yeah. so we can get through those small Absolutely. moments, right? Oh, right. Yeah. And you're celebrating three years with your boyfriend. Congratulations. Thank you, Bradley. Hi, Bradley. Thank you. Nice. Oh my oh, no. God. Three years, wow. It's, it's flown by, but it sort of feels like it's magnified because we met during the pandemic, so uh -huh. it's like dog years. I think it feels like 15 <laughs> years. Like we were like, three years is really 15 years in the pandemic. And that's a good sign, It's though. a great sign. Right? It's a great sign. Because time I'm so flies grateful for him. Fun. Yes. I love that. Congratulations. Thank you. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.